Hey guys, so I'm here with my puppies. Here's one, and then the other one's laying on my lap. But um, I wanted to do like a little chit chat video and just like talking. So um, I wanted to start off by introducing my pups. And this is Teddy. Teddy is a teddy bear, right? See, I'm a little teddy bear. Oh, little puppy. Okay. He needs a haircut, but it's still not long enough to get cut. I want to wait a little bit longer. And then we have Coco. And Coco's laying really nicely right now, but I'll move her. And here she is. Oh, did you do pee? Look. Look it. Oh, say hello. And Coco's a dachshund, a miniature dachshund. And Teddy is um, a toy poodle. And Teddy is um, younger than Coco. But he's still my little baby. Coco's trying to get situated again. She's really long, so it's really hard for her to get like comfortable. <laughs> but So she's probably not going to be in the video as much since she is farther down. But uh, I got a tragus piercing on this ear, and it's right here. And I got asked if it hurt, and of course it, it hurt. You know, you're going through cartilage and, you know, an area that has a lot of nerves. But um, it didn't hurt as much as I expected it to be. I was expecting a lot more pain and it was nowhere near as bad as people were making it out to be. So what they do is they mark where you want the piercing with a sharpie and then you check to see if that's like the right area, if you want it moved. Um, and then they have a needle which they bend into like an L shape and they usually, well at least the videos I saw, people were going from the inside out and the person that pierced mine went from the outside in so it was a lot slower than some of the videos I saw because she didn't want to nick the inside of my ear so her getting it in there wasn't as bad as when she put the earring in when she put the earring in it was actually worse um, and I know People say like you'll hear a popping noise when you get it done. I didn't hear a popping noise. I heard, which is it's kind of gross, but I heard more of like a crunching noise. And uh, it was, it sounded like, you know, like when you like smush a bug. It's just, it wasn't pleasant, <laughs> but I'm really happy that I got it done because I love the piercing. Um, I can't wait to be able to like change it out and put a like, I don't know, like a flower, something girly. <laughs> and I plan on getting two here. And then on this ear, I want um, three on my front helix, I believe it's called. And then after that, I think I will be done. I might want a third one on this ear, like a third one right here. But... Um, I might be, I might be just getting like a cuff there, so I'm not sure. The lady said to clean it four times a day with saline and two times a day with Bactine. I believe that's what she said. I don't really know. Um, but I've been doing it like three times a day with both of them. So, uh, this is the saline. And then this is the back teen, in case, you know, you were wondering how to clean your earrings. Even though, you know, they probably told you what to use, but that's what they told me to use. Um, and I'm also using that to clean, like, my regular earrings. Because um, I have three right here. And, uh, yes, I know I'm missing an earring on this one. I have to get new earrings because I lost it and I don't have any more. It was bleeding like the day after. Um, 
not a lot, but like when I was cleaning it, I guess like some of the dry blood and stuff was coming out. So it is still kind of bleeding, but that's okay. And I haven't really had any swelling and it doesn't hurt. Like it didn't hurt after it was done. Like there was no pulsing or anything like that. I did get like a like stinging sensation like when I was like walking and the air was hitting it. But uh, like right now it doesn't hurt and it doesn't hurt when I'm sleeping. I don't sleep on this ear, but no, it's pretty, pretty painless. What else can I talk about? Teddy left us. He doesn't want to be a part of this conversation. Coco's still on my lap though. Yeah, but you can't see her. Um, I've, uh, I've got my, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it. I got my blood taken and she left a bruise. And like, you get your blood taken and they put a cotton uh, bud on it and then they usually put tape over it. Like you don't take the cotton bud off because that's what makes the bruise. And she took it off and like folded it all nicely and then put it back on and taped it. And I was like, I'm going to get a bruise and now I have a bruise. So, not good. Not good at all. What else? Um, my friend came with me when I got the piercing done. And uh, she got two on both ears. Well, she got one on this ear and then one on this ear. And uh, she got her rook. And then she got another one. I forget what it's called. But uh, it's like through this part like goes from the front to the back like just put your finger there and like feel how much cartilage is like ugh. like I, I don't even know how she did it I would have been like crying um, but she's she's a tough cookie she's a tough cookie so that's about it. I just wanted to tell you about my piercing and my experience with it. She also didn't use a clamp, which they usually use, but I think that I just have like a small ear because she kept commenting on how small it was. <laughs> um, but that's why she didn't use a clamp because it might have been too big. But um, yeah, I hope that this video was useful if you were, you know, if you already have a tragus piercing or you are going if you're thinking about getting one but I would suggest it I personally really really like it hope you guys enjoyed this video and if this was useful and if you want more you know chit chat videos kind of things then give it a thumbs up and you could also subscribe for more videos um, that's about it all my pups left me so they will not be ending the video with me, but they will be back, I promise. They're not going anywhere. Right? Thank you for watching.